few things in life infuriate me as much as this program right here. Moonscraper. This is the program you use to make charts for Clone Hero. And whenever I have to use it, I nearly have a breakdown. Because the charts I make are not normal. As you can see, it's functioning at a snail's pace. Why, you might ask? Well, because I have attempted to load a chart with a modest 1 billion BPM. I'm sure your next question would be, why would you ever need a chart with a BPM that high? Well, that's because I'm hungry for points, baby. I want precisely 2,147,483,000, 647 points, which is what I suspect to be the maximum amount of points attainable in Clone Hero. If you've never heard of this specific number before, it's the integer overflow amount for 32-bit computing. Now, if that flew over your head, don't worry because it does for me too. It's just basically all the numbers that the game can hold in one amount. Now, the amount of points a sustained note will give you in Clone Hero depends on BPM, beats per minute. And if we jack it through the roof, then we get a lot of points. And this is why Moonscraper is having a breakdown in front of our eyes here. I tried my best for about four hours to get a chart working that could give me two billion points. And I probably would have given up and thrown this idea back into the trash if it weren't for Generic Mad Scientist, who was actually the first person to ever try this method out to my knowledge. He actually whipped me up a chart in about 10 minutes, which completely saved my ass. Now let's play this song. The first few notes are just to build up a 4x multiplier. And then comes the high BPM sustain, giving us all of those precious points. When we get to 999 million, the score counter actually stops, but the game does keep counting. This works the same with the note counter, and I physically hit that limit when I achieved a 1 million note streak last month. It scared the actual shit out of me, but it did count to 1 million. So the game is still keeping score even if the counter is completely broken. And finally, after all of that, our final score is... Negative? I don't know what happened there, but the amount is actually pretty close to what I thought it would be. So that's a win in my book. It's actually pretty funny, if you keep getting more and more points, eventually the score will literally reverse and start to roll backwards, which is hilarious to me. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this fun little video. As always, I had fun making it, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.